hello folks welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to be looking at uh, how to trade on binance now this is for the mobile uh, this is for the mobile phone that's for the android mobile so i've already done one for the desktop so this focused on users that use their mobile phone to trade or probably are interested in using their mobile phone to trade on binance so I uh, will assume that you already downloaded the mobile application on your mobile device that on your phone and you've already created an account. I will put a link in the description below for a video of how to create an account on Binance. And of course, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below if you have any issues in creating your account. Okay. So once you sign up and you've created your account successfully, this is the page that opens up. So what you need to do is to, if you look on the bottom, there's a navigation bar on the bottom, you see the home market, the trades, the features and the wallets. So we are going to be looking at is the trades. So you just need to click on the trades and this shows up for you. So this is where you actually trade on Binance. There is, of course, if you actually have watched uh, the P2P video, I'll put that in the description too you actually remember that we walk through this place we pass this particular page before we get to the p2p side as if you look on the top you see the convert the spot the the margin the fiat and the p2p right but we are going to focus on the spot part of it so on this spot part you actually on on here you will see the the currency pairs sorry the crypto pairs it has ptc slash usdt so which means that you are creating uh, you are trading BTC for USDT. Yeah, that's just uh, simply what it means. Now, if you look uh, at the right hand side, you will see uh, something like a candle that's on this. So this is actually where the chart comes up. So this is where you get to see the the chart on there. I will come back to this later on. So uh, the next one uh, that you also need to be aware of is this buy sell. So this uh, area it's where you you get to see the buy slash the sell part of it. So on the limit is this where you actually get to switch between limit, markets, top limit, and the rest. So we're going to focus on limit and markets for this video because for the stop limit, you can, you can actually set this up when your account is already, uh, when your trade is already on. So what limit means is you want to buy at a particular price tag, not necessarily what the market price tag is at. Okay. And then what the market means is that you want to buy at that market price. So for this particular video, if you look on here, okay, you will see that the market is showing that 9,000 plus. Okay. So once you place an order using the market, so if you switch this to the market, okay, it means that you want to buy at this particular market price. But on the limit part, you can now switch between, let's say that I, I want to buy for uh, maybe 8,000, for example. So what it means is that once your price gets down to that it at any time it automatically picks your trade okay so that's just what it means and then on here you can actually type the number of BTC you want to buy or you can use this navigation bar that's this toggle bar to switch between the percentage that you want to buy and of course we have the 25 the 50 the 75 and the 100 percentage so you probably can use that so you have more control by typing in the number of BTC you want to buy from Okay, and then the same thing happens for the sell part. So the same thing you do for the buy part, you do for the sell part. Now on here is where you get to see the price tag. That's this is your order book. So this is where you get to see the price range to sell. So the one on red is the sell and the one on the green is the buy. So this is the current price market range at which the sell and the buy orders are actually ranging. Okay. So going back to the candle, that's where we went initially. So this is uh, the trading or more like the chart view of it. Okay. So on top, you get to see the price tag. Okay. And he, this is actually where the chart is. So this is the charts. Now, if you look below here, where you have the line. Okay, so this is the line chart. But for, as a trader, you need to focus more on the time frame. It does. This shows you the candlestick pattern. So you get to see the 15, the one hour, the four hour, the one day. So what this means is that for each candlestick, it's representing a day. If you switch to four hours, for example, each candlestick represents four hours. What it means is that for 
this particular time frame we had the candlestick went this particular time frame for each the the four hour time frame you get so for this candle now that i'm hovering on top it took four hours for it to move from around 38,000 up to 40,000 okay so this is actually what it means that's for that particular time frame it's actually made that particular movement so if you click on the more option the drop down you get to see other uh, time frames available so it's not just the time frame that it shows you that it's actually available so you get to see all other time frames that are available so you have the one minute time frame we have the three minutes time frame we have the five minutes time frame and you can actually go way deeper depending on uh, your preference we we'll even have up to the one month uh, time frame right so this is more like a uh, customize it or more like customize to your own taste or your own preference right now uh the green color what it simply means is that the markets or the price that went up that particular price a uh, uh, time range and the red means that it came down now technical part of it what we call it is bullish and bearish so the green is the bullish and the red is the bearish yeah? but what it simply means is that the price went up and the price came down yeah. right so if you scroll up again you get to see the other book okay so just like i showed you previously this also one means the, sorry this is also where you can actually see the other book okay so if you look on the top right you get to see a star so this way you can actually book market now let's assume that you don't want to trade bcc for usdt and you have other options you want to trade you have different ways of switching that you can just click on the top right and this opens up okay that's one way or you can go back and click on this btc slash usdt too and this comes up now you can search for the pair that you want let's assume i want to i have usdt and i want to trade it for other coins for example so i click on usdt and it shows up the market range sorry UDST. that's why i typed <laughs> so usdt and it gives me an option of the ones i can actually trade it for okay now mind you that there are some crypto pairs that are not possible for okay so let's assume we want to trade uh, we have usdt we want to trade it for bts we have bnb we want to trade for usdt so usdt bnb that's that is not available okay but we can actually trade bnb for that okay so you can see that if you actually search for it it comes up okay so there are long currency pairs that you can actually trade for the other now let's assume you want to trade one for the other and it's not available on here okay let's see if uh, this is available okay so btc by bnb is not available so assuming that you have bnb for example and you want to trade btc so what you just need to do is come back move to convert okay and here you can actually make your conversion the way you want it so you just have to choose the conversion that you want to and just quickly convert and then come back to spot and continue your trade okay so this way you can just convert your bnb to your usdt and then you can now switch to the coins uh, the crypto pair of btc to usdt right so this is actually uh all you need to know for or more like the basics of what you need to know about uh, crypto trading okay so uh do subscribe to the channel if you find this video helpful and don't forget to click on that bell icon and also like this video it's good for the algorithm so it can get to more people that actually are interested in this kind of video okay that's the content of the video so thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next one peace